Mitchell Johnson is more than happy to hear some taunts from India on Boxing Day. I think it just got the blood boil, boiling a little bit and just got me involved in the game and kept me sharp. So I was able to focus on what I needed to do. I took my mind off the scoreboard at that time when I came out to bat in Brisbane and um, I was able to just go out there and, and play my game. Joe Burns received an official welcome to Australia's test squad. And the new kid on the block was put through his paces as test hopeful Ryan Harris sent down a few in the MCG nets. Shane Watson copped a nasty blow in the same practice session, getting struck in the helmet by a James Pattinson bouncer. But despite the knock, Booper support team doctor Peter Bruckner said the all-rounder was shaken but fine. Chris Rogers, meanwhile, is keen to continue his reversal in form. It'd be nice to get a, another century in a, in a Boxing Day test for sure. Um, yeah, and, and also just keep keep contributing to the side. I think I, I've i probably let the side down a little bit lately with my performances, so um, to get 100 out here would be, you know, would be fantastic. Brad Haddon was confident that he could follow Rogers' lead. All my preparation, that's been spot on. I've just been out of runs. Um, I'm not stressed or, or worried too much about it. Um, the, the game will turn. And all but dared India to rile up Mitchell Johnson again. I, I think the Indians have showed their hand in Brisbane that they're going to be quite aggressive. Um, yeah, I, I think our, our lower order and, and middle order can expect some. That's cricket. Maybe they'll wind Mitchell Johnson up again and we'll see how that goes. <laughs>